Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We've got another product uh, review that was sent to us. I've kind of already opened this um, just to kind of take a look at what, what all was in the box before we got started. I wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to get hung up on anything. So this was sent to us from our friends over at Same Top. Um, in this case, they sent us a chest harness with a phone holder. So they make uh, kind of adapters and phone holders and chest harnesses and stuff like that that would be good for vlogging. And what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to put the link of where you can get this if you like this product at the end of the review. Click there, see how you can get yours. Uh, and they sent this over to us. We got it like in a day or two. They sent it very fast. So um, this is not a sponsored video. They did not pay me to say anything. So everything you hear in this video is my personal opinion of this product. So I went ahead and opened two of the bags that were in here already. One of them is a phone holder um, with the GoPro type mount. So um, what's cool about this is it does have a cold shoe mount uh, or adapter mount. Yeah, I guess you could call that on the top. So you can put a light or a external microphone on there. Uh, and then it did come with the adapter that's gonna link into the chest harness um, with the GoPro fitting on it. And a thumb screw, which if you're anything like me, you have a million of these laying around. You got a little instruction card in here just telling you, I guess, how to put it on, uh, how to put the adapter on. It's pretty clear and easy to understand. So the last thing to open is obviously the chest mount. I know you guys have seen me do a lot of reviews in my garage. It's like 100 degrees out here. But as I always tell you, I have a baby in the house, so I can't really do these in the house. So I'm stuck out here in the garage in the heat. So we're gonna open this and I have to tell you right off the bat, this feels very durable. Got some clips holding it together. So this is cool and let me pick this up. So I'm gonna be honest with you, I've, I was <laughs> keep dropping clips. I was never really a fan of the GoPro chest harnesses just because um, I don't know, it just seems awkward to put on and bulky, but I'm gonna tell you why I think I'm gonna like this product. So this looks pretty simple. There's no clipping. This looks like it just goes over. Wow, that was, that was super easy. And I didn't even have to adjust anything. This looks perfect the way it is. So I'm guessing this would go in here like this. I know you guys are telling me, maybe you should read the directions. But we don't do that. Okay, so there's a button on the side which takes this apart if you wanted to make it easier. And that just clips in just like that. I'm sure you heard that. This is actually very comfortable, guys, and it doesn't feel awkward. Other than that, I guess I could put it down here, going down. Yeah. I think I would rather have this this way. These GoPro things can be kind of difficult. And that's that. I mean, I'm gonna give you a side view of this. Not too awkward, right? The back, it's very comfortable. Some of these GoPro chest harnesses that I've worn in the past are very awkward. You have, you have multiple clips on the side. Um, you have to constantly be adjusting, but this doesn't feel like it's tugging on anything. It actually feels like I'm not even really wearing anything. So there's not much to it, right? I mean, I know the instruction is kind of lengthy here but I'm sure there's different uh, techniques to mount this. So I'm gonna tell you why I like this. For one, it's on me. It's not moving, right? Um, let me give a little hand gesture to the camera just so I can start my AI tracking, right? So if I bend down, it's with me. It's not bouncing all over my chest. As you can see here, I actually have to tug for that to be on there. And uh, so yeah, look, I mean, if I'm down here, I know it's kind of hard to see, but it's not moving. 
which I really like, and I'm sure, okay, yeah, so this tightens it. I could tighten it a little more if I wanted to. So I like that. I like that this is comfortable. It's, it's not intrusive to what I'm doing, and you get that POV, that first person view of what you're doing with your hands in front of you. So the reason this is good for us in our gig logs is because a lot of times I like to do that first person view of myself in my trailer, unloading gear, carrying stuff into the venue, setting speakers up, you know, doing wires, whatnot. So with that being said, what I've been using, and I'm gonna hit this button here on the side, I'm gonna take this off, and I'm gonna show you what I've been using is this you guys have seen this all over instagram all over TikTok. it is that neck mount this is probably going to interview interfere with my microphone but um so this is where you can mount your phone and adjust it the thing i hate about this is if i bend over this thing is moving all over the place and i was in and out of my trailer last weekend moving gear and with the phone on there, it adds that much weight. So this thing was moving at one, at one point it was over here like this. And that's just, that's just not going to look good <laughs> on video. Right? So, um, I was always careful where I was moving because if I move too fast with the weight of the phone on there, this thing was shifting and it would stick just like this with the phone on it. So my phone's pointing in opposite direction. So this is cool for like cooking videos or, if you're doing something in the garage on a workbench, you're not moving around like we do. We move around a lot. And so I kind of like not disconnecting this. And I want to see how easy. Okay, so perfect. And I love that this doesn't get tangled up and it's just pretty self-explanatory. Sorry if this is brushing up against my mic. By the way, we're using the Hollyland Mark II microphones, as you could probably see right here, or as you probably can't see, because these things are very concealed. And I absolutely love these. You know, I was a fan of the DJI uh, mics when they first came out, but as I watch more of the, the DJ gig logs on YouTube, they're so huge and heavy and they're weighing down everybody's shirt. They look awkward. And to me, the sound is really no better than what I'm getting out of the Hollyland. So I truly love the Hollyland product because it's lightweight. Sometimes I even forget that I have it on and I have to remember, oh crap, I gotta take this mic off, right? So what I wanna do is I wanna record some video uh, of me using this, moving around pretty quick. And then I will upload that. And then I'm going to record some video of me moving around doing stuff with this on so you could see the total difference. Now I do have the Insta 360 go to, which is the little bitty uh, magnet camera. It's a little bitty, but the thing with that is, is you're limited to so much memory, however much memory comes on the camera. That's it. So if you're doing a long, long gig log, it's not going to last right. And the battery's not that, that long either. It does not last. I mainly use that for like wedding party introductions or as I go out to the floor and welcome guests, I do that for that because it's really inconspicuous. It's really small rather than, I'm not, I'm obviously not going to wear this uh, out on the dance floor to welcome guests. This looks really awkward and I usually wear like a three piece suit. This just wouldn't be the look, right? So this is more for on the way to the gig, unlo unloading at the gig, setting up at the gig and maybe tearing down the end of the night that first person person view of us tearing down. So let's capture some video with this and then ultimately with the Teleson neck mount. Be right back. Okay, so before we get to the video, the phone video of this on the chest mount, here's what it looks like. Really cool. I'm not even gonna lie, it doesn't feel like anything. Now the downfall to this phone mount supplied by same top is on the bottom here, in order to put the phone in, there is a screw that you have to loosen for the phone mount to widen, to widen, to keep widening so, widening so that your phone will fit in there. I don't like that. 
And as you can hear now, obviously I'm pressing buttons over here. Okay, so I have to kind of off center it so it's not pressing these buttons. But the bad thing about that is I would rather have one of these phone mounts that you loosen and you stretch it and put your phone in there and done. I literally spent about two minutes unwinding this little thumb screw waiting for this phone mount to just slowly open, 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 and then it finally fit in there. I don't, I don't have time for that. I don't have time to do that. I want to get there. I want to widen it, put the phone in there, drop it and tighten it and, and go, you know? So let's capture some footage, see what it looks like with this compared to the Teleson. All right, guys, so here we are moving around um, with the chest mount. As you can see, my hands are in front of me. So you got that first person view, right? Um, I don't have to worry about this thing swaying. Um, if I'm setting something up, you can see the first person point of view, which is really nice. Now, I don't know if I would truly be able to lift anything um, with this on here just because I feel like, so I have, I have one of my DJ speakers here and I'm gonna see if I can actually maneuver this. You like my slides? Yeah, so that would work. So I wouldn't say that this would be for actually lifting stuff. I think this would be more for just a point of view of unloading if stuff's on a cart already or if I'm just doing something with my hands in front, um, something quick and easy. But obviously, you know, lifting speakers, you have to put it against your body and this would not work. So right off the bat, that won't work for that. But the, the, the stability is great. So if I go to pick up this speaker, there it is. And I'm walking into a venue, it's not swaying. If I wanna lay that down and go through it. First person point of view, we're good. So let's check out the Teleson now. All right, so now we're on the Teleson neck uh, thing. And this is what I was talking about, guys. So as I was in my trailer, it's already swinging because I'm looking down. So it's swinging all over the place. If I'm coming over here looking for the handle and then I'm over here, it is swinging everywhere. So, and now I have to actually grab it and reposition it. So i um, not a fan of that. Let's test out grabbing the same speaker that we grabbed a while ago. So if I come over here, bend down, it's already swaying. But other than that, if I'm just walking, it seems to be pretty stable. But I have a five by eight trailer and I have to duck down. So coming in and ducking down into my trailer, right here it's bouncing everywhere. If I come up to this speaker and like again, I look for the handle, I don't know how stable this footage is gonna be, but it's, it's all over the place, so. So that was the Teleson. Um, I like it because it's quick and easy. I just wish that maybe it had a magnet on the back that when you put this on, you put a magnet underneath your shirt and it stuck better to your shirt. I think that would be cool. So final take, I like the chest harness. I like it a lot. It's very comfortable. It doesn't really feel like much. Um, the only thing they can improve on is sending you a better, this is that little thumb screw right here that you have to, and you can see the spring, you have to keep turning it and turning it. So what I would do is just leave it like this. But what I'll probably do is end up buying another GoPro phone mount that actually has like a switch in the back and then you can spring it up, put your phone in there, spring it down and lock it and it's done. This is a great product. I really like it. So there's not much more to talk about. Simple packaging, simple instructions. They give you everything you need. Um, sweating out here in this garage. Uh, I'm gonna put a link where you can get this on Amazon. Same top chest harness phone holder. Easy to use, easy to understand instructions. I think I'm gonna try it out on next weekend's gig when uh, DJ James King and I get to Willowin for uh, Mandy and Kobe's wedding. This should be an epic wedding. 
If you like the product, let me know. If you end up getting it, I'd love to hear your thoughts on how you liked it and how you're utilizing it. But other than that, that's this product review, guys. I like it, final take. Uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, we'd love to have you. We're building the channel up. Like I said in the previous videos, we got a lot of products that are being sent to us. I've got two more lights up there that I got to review. I got an antenna system that I got to review. It's just really hard uh, with a busy life. So we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.